Hi guys, I am Ali Akbar. Today we are going to learn how to create a incremental or instant search in Oracle Apex. Guys, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe to my channel. So let's start. First of all, please follow SOP regarding COVID-19. I am Ali Akbar. First, first of all, I would demonstration to you what we what we, we will do. In search search, I am pressing any name. I am press King. You are showing that when I, I type KI, the KI related result showing runtime showing on screen when I press ALI the result showing runtime this is called instant or incremental search in Oracle Apex Incre incremental search it st start searching as you type in the text input field to create this feature in Oracle Apex we will create a text field atom and increment report you can also use the classic port as well as in interactive report steps to create incremental search for reports in Oracle Apex. First of all, we would create a we would create a page. I I already I have already created a page blank page. You can see it's a blank page. <clears throat> then create a static region on it and create page atom on this region then label this text search or provided place order value as you want I am going to this page I am just creating a region static region create region assign any name search and creating a page item on this region for incremental search I am assigning a name on name of item page item ok save You can view view the page. Okay. Now I'm creating second region. Kit version. I'm signing name any name employee M. And specify query uh, type interactive grid. And now specific query for table uh, for table to demonstrate in this example I am using the employee table and will filter the result on column e name as the user will start trying typing in input field we created above. I am assigning table M M Okay. So next of it, I am deleting. Okay. No, I'm specify a page. Specify on region ID static ID. You can say. By static ID to this interactive port region, I am uh, trying typing static ID. I am press uh, you can type any name SID. I am save no, then I specify the where class for the interactive port to filter out the result. The following is the where class example 
here this is a where class example copy and paste in in this where class ename this is our search item name which we created at search region first region this is ename equal to search item and ename this is a where class you can assign any column any column with on which you wanna search or wanna create or run a uh, search an in incremental search save no the item p p34 underscore search is the text field item we created in the static region above by looking at the where class above you can have the idea of what i am doing you can make it more efficient for single field and for multiple field as per your needs now click on the page name on page name show the property and paste the following query j query this is a second last query which i am paste this query i would be provided on video description this query paste in javascript execute when page loads execute when page load guys this is a case sensitive so be carefully when you uh, uh, copy paste this is a seed which i is a, which i provided m region static id and this is a static this is a search field atom type which uh, which i created okay save the above query j code will be added the event key up to the text field and will refresh the interactive code region name p4 now the last step and then signing page item to submit save now I'm run run the report Well, this is our interactive interactive report region. This is our search region. Okay, I'm typing any name like Scott S C. Results filter out at the runtime and pressing Ali. Search running, searching running instead, search running at runtime. When press enter, blank enter, then all record would be shown on the report. Okay, I'm hiding this attribute. Attribute. Search bar, save. Okay. Good. I'm creating two region, one item, one second region interactive report. So, guys, thanks. For watching, please.